hi welcome to my channel as well as it gets my name is asriel and today i am going to be talking to you about cults and targeted individuals now before i get into this subject i'm going to have to say this i always say this in order to control the trolls but you're going to have to exit stage left if you are only able to think with your left brain if you're not able to use your left and your right brain and your third eye in order to follow along what i'm talking about then you might as well exit stage left because you're gonna blow a gasket watching all of this however if you're able to use all of your mind in your third eye you're gonna you know be able to follow along and get where i'm coming from all right now but now with that being said cults target individuals how does that tie in together now targeted individuals at the end of the day we are all targeted we are all being watched by what people in ancient times were called watchers or what we call now angels or what some civilizations in the past were called angles and you know one of these entities by the name of lucifer who just so happened to own this domain has us all on the watch list and some of us depending on what we know what gifts we have what destiny we have and things of that nature some of us are watched a lot more closely than others and not only that are harassed for whatever reason if you're a targeted individual like you know the one on the watch list like on the red list or whatever then you're just know that your case is different from everyone else um you have different it's not just lucifer and the the these fallen angels that are watching you and targeting you um because of your gifts or what you know but you have human beings that are very well part of this and not only that it's not just the government that is in on this but you have different agencies within the government you have cult, different cults that are in on this um you have regular old people that you see from day to day that you would never know that is in on this and that participates in this now i'm going to focus on cults simple fact because i want to tell you an experience that i went through myself and i feel like there is some um evidence of a cult being involved however this is not a cult that everyone knows about this is like a real secret society this is not um masons or or the illuminati like this is some sort of hiding in plain sight like you wouldn't even know the name the like the, like nothing but i do believe there is some sort of um i won't call it satanic cult but it's something of that nature that is going on and when i tell you this experience you're gonna understand where i'm coming from now before i get into this experience of course i'm not going to give you the real names of the people that are a part of this situation simple fact because i know there are people that are watching that personally know me and they're going to try to put two and two together and i don't have time for that you know so just know things are going to be scrambled i'm going to go ahead and try to make up names for these people um bit of a backstory i have a friend um let's call it sally um me and sally we go way back i've been knowing her for like 10 plus years we're pretty much like family um I know her family, I know her child, there will be times where I will babysit her child and drop her child off to her grandmother, like, we're, we're tight, um, just like blood family. Alright, now we're gonna name her daughter, um... Brenda. These names are so whack. <laughs> but 
<laughs> yeah, the mother name is Sally and the daughter name is Brenda. <laughs> but anyways, one day I'm babysitting Brenda. And Brenda, she, I don't, I can't even remember how we came on top of this subject. But it just came out and Brenda tells me that she has sold her soul with her teacher and her family members. I'm like, what? I know your family members. That doesn't even sound right. However, you know, I'm alarmed. Simple fact, because first of all, that's a little child. So it's like, who exposed you to this? Where is this coming from? And second of all, it makes me think, like, do I know these people? So, I decide to take Sally. Or no, is it Sally? No, I decide to take Brenda. I'm sorry, the daughter. I'm doing, I'm going to drop the names. We're just going to say daughter, mother. I'm going to drop the names. So, I decide to take the daughter to the grandmother's house. Simple fact because the mother is at work. I can't get a hold of her. She doesn't have her phone on the job. So I'm like, F that. Let me go to the grandma because she named the grandma. She said her mom and the grandma. And I'm like, hold up. What's really good? So I'm like, let me go to the grandma house and talk to the grandma and see what, what is really going on. All right, so I go to the grandma house. Grandma's not there. It's the daughter's auntie. She's there. Mind you, the daughter says she also sold her soul with the auntie. So the auntie is supposedly in on this too. So, so I, I'm like, Effa, let me ask the auntie since she's there. Um, the daughter is telling me that she sold her soul with the teacher and y'all. And the auntie, she gonna reply to me and said, that's not what we're doing. All right, now tell me if I'm tripping. If someone says that's not what they're doing, doesn't that mean, okay, no, that's not what we're doing, but, you know what I'm saying? That's how I feel. However, the kid is there and I don't press the auntie you know, I don't I don't say like, well, what do you mean? Like, okay, that's not what you're doing, but what is it? I just drop it. And I was like, okay, well, um, where where's the grandma? And she was like, oh, she she went out. Um, but you can call her. She's not, you know, doing too much. She's she's at a friend's house or whatever. So I called the grandma and. The grandma, she sounds like she's like at a dinner party. And I tell the grandma, I was like, um, old girl daughter is saying she sold her soul with y'all and the teacher. And I'm, I'm very alarmed about it, you know? And when I tell her this, there was like a slight pause. And I can't quote exactly what she said, but basically in a nutshell, She's like, she tells me like, you know, we're not into that, you know? All right. So I'm like, okay, cool. But what made me feel kind of weird was that she was not alarmed. She didn't care. So you should, it, it, she just brushed it off. Like to me, I feel like an average grandma would be like, oh. <gasps> Oh my gosh, how did how did my grandchild get a hold of this information? Where is this coming from? Um, have they seen anything? Who have they been hanging with? I would think that she would have a whole bunch of questions and want to know more. But it was just like, you know, we're not into that. I don't even know why you asked me that. That question is, that was dumb of you to even come over here for that. Like, are you serious? So I'm like, hmm. <laughs> When she, when she reacted that way, it sparked a memory within me. Now, backstory of this memory. I once had a dream where one of the family members that the child said they sold their soul with taught me how to contact the devil and make a deal with the devil. 
And I remember when I had this dream, mind you, this was a long time ago. And when I had the dream, I like stuffed it down and I didn't say anything. I just pretended it never happened. But after I had that dream for like two weeks, I had to fight off that prayer. I can't remember it now. I don't want to remember it. But for two weeks, my subconscious mind wanted to repeat that prayer over and over. And I had to fight it off. And ever since I had that dream, I'm not going to say I felt weird, but I was questioning like, why? Why did I have that dream? And not only that, the dream just felt so real towards the point when I woke up, I had to question myself like, did that really happen? Like, or am I tripping? Because it felt that real. So I went on ahead and told the grandma that memory, but I didn't tell her who taught me in that dream i just said well a family member that the daughter said so she sold her soul with this is what happened in the dream and when i tell her about this dream again there's a silent pause and i kid you not i heard something that i really wish i didn't hear i want to say i was hallucinating hearing things that wasn't there but i know this is what the f i heard i know this is what came out of her mouth now mind you like i said it sounds like she's like at a dinner party and after that silent break i heard her turn her head from the phone and the reason why i can say this is because i can tell like the voice projection was away from the speaker phone and i hear her say looks like we lost one and then a whole bunch of laughter in that dinner party yeah once i heard that i was ready to get out the phone the conversation was over i was okay we're done we're done and i just left the house i just left the house and ever since then i have not mentioned anything about it i haven't mentioned anything about it it's just been like a elephant in the room i'm honestly scared to ask them because i don't know the answer i'm going to get it's either going to go two ways either a it's going to be a what it is and i'm going to take it for what it is or b they're going to be like i don't know what you're talking about no there's nothing yeah i to be honest i will never ask i'm just gonna you know watch out for that child and um just stay cool. <laughs> Just pray, you know. I know I'm protected, you know. I know I'm safe. But, yeah, this is what happened to me. And I most definitely believe. I don't want to believe it. But, honestly, with all of those clues, I feel like they're a part of some secret cult. But it's like, if you look at them from the outside looking in they look like good people like you know let them tell you they're christian and they have a good heart like don't get me wrong they'll take their shirt off of their back if you need it they're always there for you they're very helpful they're good hearted people so it's like it's very hard to digest this it's very hard to accept this because it's like for now outside looking in they they seem like normal regular good people kind people so it's like how the f what the f yeah <laughs> that part my mind gets blown every time i think about it but yeah that happened um if you have any insight comment down below <laughs> i'll listen to you if you have a experience of your own then comment down below i would like to know do you believe in cults if not let me know why not because i do and i know it to be true all right well it was nice talking to you i'll catch you in the next one bye